Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of the Universal Lens. Things look different again. We keep ebbing and flowing. I am John Emilio, again flanked, as Henry said a couple of weeks ago, by greatness on my left and right. With Henry and, and Anthony, uh, thanks you guys for coming back. So yeah, we have the new setup. This is permanent. I'm done. <laughs> we like it, John. It looks great. I'm nice done. Job. And, well, nice job. That table's moved. Background's moved. Everything's moved. About, Everybody got the basement back in my what house. The Hawaii background. Nice. We could probably, you could do that virtually, probably. Okay. Let's work. No, I'm done. If you, know, if you guys don't like it, I'm sorry. We're but back. We're back. So. Back um, in New York. <laughs> Back in the New York right? Minute. Was that, was that mm-hmm. back, yeah. back in the New York Minute. The USSR. No. No. That's no. USSR. I'll play this song. Wasn't play. it Back in the New York Minute? No, that's In the New York Minute in by Billy Joel. Minute. Oh, yeah. It's Billy. Back in the USSR. I forgot who sings it, but that was an actual song. Yeah. Oh, okay. Right. Forget I said that. Okay. ADHD, we're getting carried away. Yes, I'm a little tired right now, so I will be a little delayed probably for a few minutes, but that's okay. Yeah. Um, we so gotta, we gotta dive in. let's dive in. It's a lot. Let's dive in. It's a so lot. Anthony had a great idea because it is Men's Mental Health Month, right? In yeah. general, it is right. Um, and it's something that's really not spoken about probably enough. You're right. I mean, it, you hear about it, yes, but but it's it's, it's not spoken, spoken about. I think in the right circles. You're right. Right. It's I, not prominent. It's, it's not, not prominent with with the proper people who probably need or it will benefit them. Yeah, just think so. about it, right? Yeah, I, I think so. I think personally, you know, uh, the Men's Mental Health Month, along with the PTSD awareness, it, it's kind of combined for me, especially, you know, from the environment I came from. And uh, But I think men's mental health in general is not something that's spoken about. It's considered taboo because men are supposed to be the strong one the, and, uh, and deal with your problems. End of story. No one wants to hear it. Yeah. You know, no one, men don't have a lot of people to talk to except for other men. That's why. You'll find little cliques of men who bond together or go to a barbecue. You'll get five or ten guys who don't even know each other, but will, over a beer, have a talk about anything. That's the only time and the only way, really. Who do you call when you're having a bad day? Yeah, no, nobody. I mean, I, he makes himself honestly. He makes himself available. Yeah, he he one hundred percent. We can call each other, but do you really? No, because no. you know why we Sign have that me. thing where no, I'm not gonna do that. No, mm-hmm. I gotta be at wit's end yep. for me to say, okay, I'm about to do something drastic here. I gotta. Otherwise, shut up. Deal with your problems. And keep going. Yeah. Deal with your problems. So, so dive a little deeper. Right, yeah. I, I get all that, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and I agree that oh, that's yeah, how no. that's how a lot of men. Go that's how a lot of men act, right? But dive in. a little deeper too. Why? Why do yeah. men tend to act that way, or think they need to act that way, or feel it's important for them to act that way? And you, you'll see how what we talk about every week is going to tie right back into this. Of course, right? It's it's this. And we said this a couple of weeks ago when uh, I think was it you, know, you 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 said it. we were talking about somebody breaks into your house and mm. you have to be like yeah. the patriarch you have to be the sure. the I person see. who's going to go in there and so and I said that I agree hundred percent social structures yeah I I agree hundred percent you have to you know that's that's the role you take at that moment but that's not what you should that's when you attach that role that's where the baggage starts to accumulate so when you say a man doesn't want to you know, if men nowadays, or not even nowadays, men in general for eons have never been one to open up about a problem or about an issue or about something that they're navigating or emotions or feelings or thoughts, or whatever it might be, it's because they have this identity that's been given to them to say, you can't show your human side. You can't speak about those problems because I don't know, one of you just said it. It's a sign of weakness. It looks like it's a sign of weakness. But yeah. all it is is words that are being told to people at a young age, men, boys, and when they grow up, they believe that they have to. So a man could, they believe that they have to act that way, that they have to keep it bottled up. You know, keep a, what do they, what do they, what do they say? Keep a, um, like, not your chin up. There's another term uh, that they would use. I can't think of it. But keep your chin up. Show that, you know, don't show your weakness. Show that you're strong. But all that does is 
make that child as he gets older not be able to speak about things that are natural to speak about well let, let's be honest most men i think go to regular talk therapy with you know regular therapist yeah, sure. if you ask them deep down most of them go to talk to somebody who's non-judgmental oh yeah i mean, I mean in all honesty they may not be working out many problems but they're him having the ability to talk it out is, is what, what the real uh, prescription is. That's, that's, that's what he really needs. Need. Because some men, men feel you can't talk to your wife about things, and then they'll hold those things against you, possibly, at another time. And then, then you don't want to talk to your male friends because, as a man, you're like, I don't think they really care. You show soft, yeah. softness. And it, it's all about programming. Yeah, and that's how, that's how, I, that's how I was trying to get to before. before. I think there's layers to it, and programming is one of Well, that's where it starts. When the code is written, Yep. That's where it starts. Awesome. 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 That way. And, you know, some of us are a little different. Some of us, you know, with, there's, there's obviously a degrees of programming. You know, there might be guys that are naturally more going to gravitate towards, hey, I, I want to just say something. I want to get something off my chest. And there's going to be another, like, real extreme where the guy's dying, but poker face, nothing's going on here. We're good. So, you know, there, there's going to be that rainbow of, of everything. But in general... You know, you turn on the TV, you see social media, you, 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 know, you watch all your favorite internet shows, whatever it is. It's always about, like, you know, there, there is a current, you know, girl power, girl this, girl that, yeah, everything is a woman's got to do. Yeah. Which, okay, great. You know, like, okay, you know, like, you know, we all have daughters, you know, we all, like, that's fantastic. But there's the forgotten guy who, jeez. You know, the guy who you know, has got a lot of weight on his shoulders. You know, it's not about, girl. yeah, I'm happy for you. Or it seems like 95% of the attention given by society is on women. And then hopefully 5% is left over from men. Do you know why that might be? Because women talk about it. And their problems are more known to society. Men really well, don't. We're just kind of starting to scrape, scrape the surface. Also, what is our programming? Our programming is we, we live for them. We live for them. We live for our wives. We live for our family. We live for our kids. It's, it's almost, almost like, like we know where we are a sacrificial lamb on this planet on purpose. That's our purpose is to provide, provide the, 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 whether it's strength, whether it's protection, whether it's financial, whether it's resource, any which way, a roof, love. You know, you don't go to a dad for love. You go to your mom for love. Yeah, I'm talking stru social structures. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm yeah, not talking yeah. I got you. No, I mean, but everything so is my household yeah. doesn't work that way. Yeah. Yeah. At least, you know, you, you can go, go for mom for something. Yeah. But yeah. Both of us give out love. That's the old programming. No. Right. You, you brought up a certain way and you kind of... Well, you reprogrammed yourself. I didn't grow up that way. No, okay. My mom was not a love giver. Uh, she's a very cold woman. So my father at one point you made a decision to to change that, yeah, which is uh, is pretty powerful. It's As I reflect, I act with my children and my family a very opposite way. The way you wanted, raised. the way you wanted. And I think you and kind of, you know, yeah, yeah. Yeah. my mother was. Well, my mother, I think, was the opposite. My mother, and that was thankfully. My mother is overly loving, overly caring, overly, you know, concerned about you. Uh, and my father was the polar opposite, right? The strong, uh, you have stoic. To get up. Get up. Stoic. Yeah. My father was very stoic when we were kids. You know, he was, you know, loving man, but that's not, where, that's not where you went to get it. That's where you went to. That's where, you know, you know courage and bravery was supposed to come from. Anyway, well, you, you father wanted me to slap you upside the head a few times when we were younger. Yeah, I'm sure. Some things you were doing. I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure. You straight them out. I'm, I'm sure. What do you want me to do? <laughs> you know, still say that. That program, but that programming that you know we're all talking about is what starts a again, it's, again, a, it's a program by the way it's, it's, not, it's that, not that people are doing anything wrong because you only do what you know you're doing right. it's, it's, and, and the issue that we're trying to get to is the the way men are brought up nowadays or, or have been have been, been, yeah. have been, being, have have been, have been, been brought up, up. Eons, like eons now has always been generationally is how Henry was saying it before. How it's you're the provider, you're the protector, right? Go back to the caveman. The caveman was a provider. He was a protector. He was went out, went out and hunted yeah. and gathered. They were hunter and gatherers, right? That's what that's yeah. and and that kind of carried over. Now as we've evolved as human beings, 
we never evolve that part of it because we have a a language and identification and a and a program that we use and that never we never updated that part of it a man can still be the protector and not and, and uh, before we'll just put asterisks on this women nowadays have done great things they've they've they've, they've 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 evolved to become in the workplace they're you know astronauts they're they're doing they're doing all sorts of amazing things everywhere whether it's cops firemen you know whatever put job that typically was a man's job years ago now women are doing such so great more power to them the more people we have doing things the better the planet's going to be and better humanity is going to be but the the that that the program that they were given you know we've never evolved from it we've never updated it we've never had that awareness to say hey i could still be the protector as a man if i need to be in my house I could still be the provider if if I am the provider in my house because we know nowadays women are providers also, right? I can be at any different role. I could also be the one who takes care of the kids in the house. I could so it's, I could also be the one who stays home and the wife makes more money. I could also be the one who I could be many, many, many different. So it's what role do you want to take? But that role that you take does not identify who you are. And and when a guy says, I'm a guy, I can't do that. I'm a guy, I can't do this. I'm a guy, I can't talk. That guy is hook, line, and sinker believing the story in his head that says, I need to be like this because society has told me I need to be like this. Bro, you can be a guy and you can still break down and cry in the corner if you need to five minutes. I agree with you. And not, and less men. There's different types of men, and they're all equal men. You got, now I, I just uh, bring up a quick story about my brother in law who's in his 30s, you know. And his version of a year, the one down, yeah. down far. So, uh, his version of a man, very, you know, and he grew up with me doing what I did for a living, and everything was toughness, shoot that, punch that, you know, everything is a very rough. And if you're not that type of man to him, and then he doesn't consider that a man, which I had a long talk yeah. with him, and I said, listen to me. And I says, listen very, very close. I did what I did for a living, yeah, and it was. Uh, tough guy this and you know this i go that goes away after time believe me it doesn't last forever i says and second of all that guy was waking up every morning at four in the morning working 12 hour days to feed his family and he's hustling and he's bringing home money that guy's just as much of a man as the mma guy in the ring fighting it out they're just doing different things yeah they, he's just as much of a man it, it, there's different types of men out there uh, yeah you know i, I agree there, there are there are different and it doesn't make them less of men to do different things, you know. That's my take on it. I believe me. Do both of those things, and you'll see they're both equally as tough. So, 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 to so, do, you know? Extra better question. When you say they are equally both men, just to, right to summarize, kind of you're saying. Yeah. Know what, what do we mean when we say they're men? And this is this gets to the point of what we're talking about. You're the the. Caveman I, 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 identification I like, of what I like is. that you're doing this, right? Yeah, the man, I'm the man. I'm I'm the man because this, by the way, puts you in a box. Oof. Put you in a box. box. So, or not, and not you're gonna get you're gonna Especially get when it comes to being a tough guy. Yeah, that man, kind of man. On the other side of the camera, you might get a bump. You know, one of these machismo we go with men. What do you mean? I'm a man. I got. I have to be this way. Digital bulls. Did, yeah. Hold on. <laughs> we, used call, we used to call them telephone tough guys. Oh, I get it. <laughs> the guys who were real tough over the phone. Like, I'd be right there in five minutes, and then he's the nicest person. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You have a lot of those. You might have a lot of those guys disagreeing with what we're saying right now. You're not. But to your point, like, so what is, what is, what is a man? Like, besides a man being genetically and DNA wise, and as a human being, we know the male. The male is the you know, and then you have male and the female. We get all that, right? I understand that male has this part as far as reproduction and all that beautiful stuff that the way Mother Nature intended it to be and, and made it. I get all that, but what's the label that society puts on being a man, right? Like, there's that. Um, there's that. Like uh, uh, there was that meme of that. I guess he was Russian. Russian guy, and it's, I, I will talk about, about yes, I've embraced the pain, embrace feel, the pain, feel the pain, love the pain, and it's that mentality. And I think that has two meanings that mean, but the, depending on how you're looking at it, you can look at it and go, I have to be this strong, stoic, no matter what's happening in my life. Now, I could be stoic, 
I can go about doing what I have to do. But if you are adhering to these rules that you cannot talk to somebody, that you cannot discuss these thoughts that you're having, that you cannot go and seek counsel from a religious leader, a spiritual leader, whatever you want, or a, a therapist or a friend, right, who maybe understands a little bit about this because you feel that as a man, I'm going to be looked at less than yeah. if I do that. Well, then let me tell you something. Update your code because that's not – because you're, you're, you're choosing to suffer. You're choosing to carry a bigger rock that you could drop it. And you can't, talking you can't wear that cape forever, bro. No, it's you, that, it. you can't wear that. And you're going to have to put it down, put it on the side of the bed because you no one – Yeah. If no one can wear that cape forever. It just doesn't work. Back you up 60 seconds. You don't even know you're acting that way. True. Sure. Imagine. So they don't, really, they don't realize it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Imagine that you don't even know you're acting that way. So mm -hmm. you're, you're just, just going through something and you don't even know. And that, that's kind of what ha was happening to me on my, my first, first, let's say, mental, mental health, health crisis, crisis when I was like, whoa, I, I was in my box. I didn't know I was even approaching the wall. Because I, as you were programmed, you were doing what you would, you know. I, yeah. So like, you know, I don't want to get into my story, but I had to be strong yeah. for everybody around me i had i had lost my my mom and there was my dad was in the picture so it was, was my, my my younger brother you were thrusting you were thrusting yeah. yeah well you know so, they say you, you never know how strong you could be until being strong was the only option you have which is the you yeah the avalanche is going on yeah. i'm like i'm like arnold schwarzenegger in terminator 2 like come at me and, and then, then when everything was said and done i cracked it was like 10 days after the funeral that I cracked. Yeah. And I was like in a fetal position in, in, in bed. Can't wear that cape forever. Yeah. And, and you just don't know. So when you when I say your program, the program is so strong. You don't even know your yeah. program. You got to actually it's normal to you. acknowledge like, whoa. Okay. Well, listen, if I feel like I can't kick this anxiety, I feel very stressed. Like, man, my heart's going. I'm not even doing anything right now. It's, let me see. Yo, John, you ever feel like, bro, you ever had this, like, your heart just go crazy? But, yo, Anthony, I mean, I know you used to work in some serious shit, like, serious situations, bro. I'm, I'm, like, sweating. I'm not even moving. Just that alone, if the other guy that you're reaching out to has some sort of wherewithal, we, we take care of each other. That's the one thing, like, yeah, I want to take care of each other. I don't know, like, or innately. We don't go to battle with each other. That's, That's why I know you're right. Exes. Like, men, if, if we, we were to strip, strip away all the societal and man A goes to man B and says, do I need help? Man B assesses and go, okay, we, I can use you. You're strong. And together, together we, we could probably get, get a tiger, you know, and we eat that motherfucker because by myself, myself you know, kind of, but let's that's, that's how, kind of yeah. how we think. Well, that's well, I had one of my former cops, not, uh, maybe a year, year and a half ago, call me, and he didn't sound right. And I asked him, because I know the way he sounded was the way I sounded probably a year before, that just the way John would recognize something was up with me. And I said to him, I says, are you all right? I says, I, I hear it in your voice, something's, and when you get you to know, know somebody, you yeah, tell sure, something. Sure, you can tell something's up. You read them just like you would your wife and somebody you worked with for 20-something yeah. like years, yeah. right? Yeah. And he was like, you know, I'm, I'm having trouble breaking out of this, right? You know. Just getting my traction. I'm like, I know exactly what you mean. I said, let me, let me get you some help, somebody. You could always talk to me. I said, I'm here. I'll sit down and have a cup of coffee at any time. I said, but maybe you want to look maybe yeah. a little more professional. And he, professional. And he that's, that's did. Proper, yeah. And he credits me with, oh, yeah. he, he yeah. honestly credits me. He goes, I, you recognize it. He goes, I was calling for help. And he goes, I didn't even, I couldn't say the words. I couldn't say the words. And I, and I recognized it. And it, that's awesome. it's such a good, it feels great to me because I love this guy to death. And uh, every time he sees me, he, he thanks me because you were able, I was able to, and the only reason why I recognized it, because I recognized the sound of his voice. And I know, I remember what it felt like for me. And I'm like, I'm recognizing those things in your buddies. Don't be a blind ear. Turn around and go, let's grab a cup of coffee. Let's just go sit down. If you make your buddy feel interested that you want to hear what he's got to say, he might open up to you. Because most of the time, us men feel we don't talk because Henry don't give a shit. John, that shit. You got your own you got stuff. Your own yeah, I'm not gonna lay my stuff on you. 
but that's that's the breakdown. We really need to. But the other guy's got to go. I want to listen. Tell me what you have to say. Okay, I'll see you for an hour. It'll be boring. I want to listen. And that other guy's go. That's what a therapist is. That's why guys are going to therapy. They need yeah. someone to listen hear to them. them. So they need somebody to know. hear them. Bro, let's talk. I'm ready to listen. I'm ready you know, to listen. Good, good on your friend for actually recognizing it. He's doing so much better, bro. I can't there, tell you. There are people. Great. That's awesome. So that I know. That's awesome. 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 That you can you can see it coming. You can see their freight train going mm-hmm. right into the wall. Mm-hmm. And you're like, hey, let me know. And nope. And they're not acknowledging. You're, you're right. right. And that's as a friend, that's where you got to cut in and go, I know something's. You have to. But what's the other alternative? Uh, sometimes. What's the alternative? Is he talks to no one and he jumps no, off, you know, so, so, off of it, does something to so himself. You're saying, yeah, I agree. I agree with that. You should, you, yeah, I mean, to attempt to do that is. So, I mean, if you know something's wrong with John, John's like, yeah. John could tell me a hundred times nothing's wrong. I'm like, I know something's wrong. I, yeah. I know, and I'm going to I'm gonna but, keep on being here until you tell me. But I think what Henry was saying before when he said, he doesn't even know. So if he doesn't have that awareness to realize, oh, like so, like, so the health so coming, he's not realizing. He's it. not realizing that you're putting an olive branch out. Gotcha. Because gotcha. he is so. I'm a man. I, I can't. I got to be like this. It's okay. I got this. I got this. I got this. Hey, bro, you want to have a cup? Of no, 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 man. I'm good. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. But you, no, no, no. I'm good. I, what did John? What did good. you do to me when I was in my hole? You went. I'm coming by. Yeah. yeah. I can say no. no. And, and and did I hate it at the, the moment, moment until we started talk talking and I felt better? Like, bro, it is because it's like, I'm, listen, I don't want to talk about this, but a good friend is going to be like, I'm coming back. You don't have to talk. Let's have a cigar. Let's have a beer together. Sooner or later, Henry's going to be like, he's going to he's going to lose it. That's, that's a crack that's what a buddy does. That's what a loyal yeah. friend does. And honestly, we need more loyal friends in this yeah. world. We really do. I'll be honest. I mean, I've, I've cried so, with you, you know, tears. It's gone both ways. Yeah. Right. Well, no, I only go one way, but I hope you weren't, hope you weren't spooning at the time. <laughs> but, but I'm but, new to this, folks. I haven't been on any shenanigans. Yeah, stranger danger, stranger danger. <laughs> and you're not gonna. <laughs> <laughs> but that level of vulnerability that as tough men with the with the alpha programming. Yeah. Um, so that if you have that so ingrained in you that you can't break out of it, it's going to probably be to your detriment. Oh, 100%. And, and, and I'll go further. I would, I would say, say if you had a percent, if I, if I had data in front of me that would say what percentage, percentage of women watch a show like this and what percentage of men watch a show like this, I would, I would say, say we would have more female viewers than male viewers. A male viewer is probably going to peek in and be like, let me see what these two are. Ah, no, I know, John. Y'all got it. And sh- move over. And they missed the message. Yeah. You know? Uh, the woman would watch this, obviously, because we're, I came. But the second. <laughs> no, I'm here. I'm glad you got that. I'm glad you got that. You're going to say that without laughing. Yeah. <laughs> but, but for the message, you know, there is a message here. And we've we've always had the one message, which is, how to add mindfulness to all the situations. And you'll and see too. how, not that you get out of everything, but simply put, it's a different perspective that allows you to say, whoa, you're right. Why am I hanging on to this? You rise above. Yeah, like, why am I hanging on to this? It's about, it's about transcending. Yeah, this is about transcending. And, and with guys, right? With, with men, men, like you were saying before, that they don't know. And even if you have a friend who tries and tries and tries and tries to get through to this person, if that person doesn't have that self-awareness to realize that they are acting a certain way and they, it, is, it is okay for them to tell that story in their head, that label, that identity, that box that they put in, they've been put into, it's okay for them to say, basically, fuck off. I don't care what society says. How I should act because I was an ESU sergeant or because I was a contractor or because I owned a big stone company. You know, I have to be this big boss. You know, we were we were bosses of our, you know, heads of our, our companies, you know, and he was an ESU sergeant, you know, badass fucking cop for years. Like, okay, so if I'm going to put myself into that box, and you told me 20 years ago, would I have seen myself doing a show like this? Yeah, yeah. It doesn't even exist. No, me. No, <laughs> right? No. Never. No. You know, no. this, but you, honestly, I feel we like they hit like, help. Up. Listen, we make ourselves vulnerable to try to help people, really. That's yeah. what, what we're doing. What we're doing is just trying to help people 
and and honestly, we're laying the most on the lines by making ourselves vulnerable by talking about it. giving yeah. you our, you know our thoughts about it, which most people probably feel. <laughs> no, you know, all all bullshit aside, you know, all all I don't know, no no filter. You know, <laughs> there are guys that know us, especially you know when I mean you. There are guys that we run into, and I think they cheekily go, "So how's the how's the podcast going?" Yeah. I feel a little cheekiness to it. it. No, no, no offense to anybody. I hope it's not taken that way, but it's like a little. It's okay. For 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 me at least, I can only speak for myself. Yeah, I have this. What we're doing here, I have it in here. It's to the point that I leave here, and I just I just left my office in brick. When I get to the office. I'm reading people, you know, read. and I'm reading people to make sure you're good, you know, just to make sure you know you're feeling all right. You yeah. know, you're not like if I see you're weighing down, I can't I can't help, help myself but go. What's yeah, that? yeah. Are you right? Are you right? Tori, you can't tell me. Listen, we've all been burned by the fire, so we we recognize the scars. Yeah, yeah. So, so <laughs> anyway, put that. It's been fun on camera. Like, I'll, 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 I'll do it again. Load of lights. <laughs> Am I right or wrong? When you recognize it, as you like this, I, I recognize yes. it. Let me help you out of this, bro, because I I figured a way out. And, and there's no one way, maybe. But, uh, but yeah. listen, <laughs> mindfulness is a good part. It's a very big part of it for me. Religion was another big part. Well, sure. Maybe that's your formula. Maybe your formula is how John does. John does. Whatever. We were hurt. Things happen to our lives, and we figured a way out, which a lot of people don't. And why not pass it on and say, like, this is what worked for me and this is, it, you know, this didn't. And so it's not even about finding a way out. Yeah, thank you. I was going to sharpen yeah. it. It's not even about finding a way because, because what happens if the person can't find a way out? Like, like so, so. There's always a way out. No, yeah, no. And, 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 there is. Uh, of this one. Of this one. The next one. The next, the next one. one. Oh, yeah. you're, you're, you're thinking you're OCD looping, no, basically. Not just no? anything that. Well, okay. that's a good one. That's, yeah, that's, that a good point. that's what happens. Life, life hands you both. It's a giant loop every day. It is not. No, there's not an exit door to a lot of things. It's, it's not about, about finding the exit. It's about it. learning to accept yeah. that yeah. this gotcha. is what's yeah. happening in your life. Understood. And all of a sudden, you don't start looking for an exit. You actually separate and rise above it. You, this is what we, when we say the word transcend. It means I... So this you guys is my, remind me of my wife, like when I spell a word wrong or I say my, it wrong... They go, they go, everybody in my family lights up with their eyes because they're all like English geniuses, right? And, I, and I'm like, what did I say wrong? No, like, you know, so you, you, you find that wrong. you've been saying Tupperware wrong your whole life. And Tupperware? Supposedly, not supposedly. It happens to me consistently every day. So you guys just say, you know, <laughs> it's with a P, not a B. Oh, yeah. No kidding. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and no one has ever corrected me throughout my entire Brooklyn? life. Yes. Yeah. I say a lot of words wrong, and no one ever goes, they know what I mean. So nobody ever goes, you're saying that wrong, except for my wife and my three girls. Can I ask you, ask you a question? Listen, I, I do that, so stop. Fuck off. I didn't know how to spell vacuum until I was 41. <laughs> I'm not going to try to spell words because, as There's Henry two knows, words in the English language have two U's next to each other. One of them vacuum. We've made we've made many mistakes in the show. We've misspoken a few times. I probably made up words. Well, just you know, I, I recognize the lighting we, up. No, but when we I say the wrong no, no, word. No, 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 no. So, 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 you didn't say anything wrong. So what I try to so before I even say what I was going to say, what I try to do is when somebody says something on the show, whether it's Henry or you or if we had a guest on. And and they use a certain terminology that pigeonholes in only one direction. What I like to do is enlighten that person to 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 not look like this, but to open the blind. I know exactly what you were saying. I know it's not it's not to say it's, it's not wrong. It's not there's no right or wrong. It's because there'll always be okay, the next thing that you're gonna have to work through is what you yes. mean. Is that so, 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 right? so my thing is so let me show you okay, I yeah, I hear what you're saying, but you know, I get all that. So let me just let me show you this. So, so what I was saying before is what we like to do is we like to so instead of looking for a way out, we transcend above it. So, so this is my mind. Right now, I'm in my mind. My mind's telling me this is horrible. This is the worst. This is the worst. The worst. What mindfulness and awareness do does is separates you and all of a sudden you rise above it and you get to watch this thing work. And you're not attached to it when it does. Not that you like what it sees, you like what it says. So if somebody's looking for a way out. That's a struggle. That's all of a sudden. That is a that's a task. I gotta find the way out. I gotta find the way out. Stop looking for a way out, and instead accept where you are. 
understand who you are, realize that what you're, whatever story your mind told you that you have to be a certain way or act a certain way, or you have to adhere to these rules of, of gender, the way like, I'm a man, so I have to act like this. I'm a woman, I have to act like that. And realize I'm going to take this role. And when I'm done with this role, I'm going to put the role down. And I'm not that role anymore. Now, we want to talk about things like PTSD. That's not a role. Stuff, yeah. yeah, that's a role, but that's for acceptance. Is like act is huge well, I, with PTSD. I like to that. Yeah, you finish uh, PTSD, making your point. PTSD, acceptance, acceptance, commitment. There is huge because you accept and then you take committed actions towards living a valued life. But accepting a thought or accepting, like if somebody is out there and they're struggling with, you know, with thoughts in their minds, you know, that poor kid from a couple of weeks ago, right? right? Accepting those thoughts does not mean you surrendered. Doesn't mean you gave up. Doesn't mean you're weak. Acceptance is the ultimate. Sh- is for me it's the ultimate sign of strength. Because yes, okay, it is what me. it is. Yes, it is what it is. Come with me. But I don't expect you to go away as I take my next step. That's that, there's, there's one rule to acceptance. If you're doing it to make the issue disappear, it yeah. will not work. It work like Your that. mind will go. Fuck you. I know what you're doing. Nice try. Because it's you. Like, you have to genuinely be like. Stay here. Yeah. And eventually yeah. your mind goes, not important. And I'll release. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. no. Yeah. You know, once I say with that, yeah. the, the difference I think with we can maybe move on to like PTSD is, is there's, there's a memory or a thought that, that triggers you or, or certain smell, yes, or certain smells and stuff like that will trigger that memory to come back over and over. Yeah. And a lot of times your mind plays tricks on you while you're sleeping. And, you know, you get nightmares yeah, and so on. Absolutely. And consistently. So uh, there's a lot of guys, especially in this day and age, that deal with that stuff. And uh, it's, it's, uh, it's a very difficult, very difficult thing to pass. Is that, that when, in, in a PTSD situation, is that a talk therapy? Uh, it like can be very therapy? much so. So now what I say, I always say this, uh, I don't diminish talk therapy. I, quite the opposite. I'm, 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 I'm like, like you. you. It's a very yeah. crucial component oh, no, in yeah. your development. Oh, sure. but but sprinkle, sprinkle. I say more. I, I would say more than sprinkle. But I would say pour. I, I have to tell you, it. yeah, pour. But you're I right. don't want you to because, run away because that, that you said before they do pour a lot. It's it's, it's or, or to, to get, get through it, or to, I mean, I'm not to correct language, right. but to get through it, to get past it, whatever you, whatever word you want to use. The acceptance is what allows you to move and Correct. leave, and eventually, 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 not leave it behind. But, but eventually, eventually not give it the attention that, that your mind believes it should have anymore. Your, your mind, mind is, it, it, this is the only thing I can explain to somebody who has PTSD. Your mind is actually trying to protect you. It's, it's doing it in a very weird right. and, and uh, unhelpful way. The same way as somebody who has OCD has well, intrusive yeah. thoughts. Yeah. My intrusive thoughts were exact, were kind of mimic the symptoms of PTSD. It's a thought, repetitive, a smell, something I hear, something I see, reminds me of a thought. It's something that didn't happen, but my mind is playing over as if it did. My body reacts the same exact way as to somebody who's in a foxhole than somebody who wasn't. My mind is putting me in the same position and your body can't but, but you're right about how your mind protects you. It's funny. Because throughout my entire career, none of these things would bother us at all. And I say us because I, I know it happens to other guys. I'm just going to say that. So uh, I, I, what happens is throughout your, your career and throughout your time when you, these traumatic events are happening, you, they really your mind protects you because it compartmentalizes it and pushes it to the side. Right and now, it pushes it point. to the side. Another bad incident tomorrow pushes it to the side. It's when you retire. And you take off that cape. Again, I said you can't wear it forever. You take off that cape and you hang it up. Here it comes. As your mind starts to slow down and go, all that stuff that was all compartmentalized, well, now we got to open it up because you just hung up your cape. We can't keep it separate anymore. And it starts to flow into your memories and your thoughts. And if if it happens enough, that PTSD is the consistency of it happening, you know, and it's... It happens to a lot of guys, and they, and they can't break out of it. They... That is well described. Yeah. I don't, I don't come from your world. I love that. And that is well described. So, so I, I never served a day in any capacity of any. But understand, you could have PTSD, PTSD is the traumatic event. Like, God forbid something happened in front of your eyes uh, to somebody you know. Very well. That kind of thing just 
it just becomes a core memory. It. It becomes a core memory. You don't want it to be, right. but, but it just does. does. It's we just have like I have images in my head. I can still see people's faces oh, no. that didn't have bodies. It's just, you know. And so the question: Why does the mind do that? Because it it, it deems that to important. be important. Yeah, yeah. Now, now when, when you look, look at your mind, mind as a separate entity, and you, like I say, I am not my mind. So these thoughts mm -hmm. are not my thoughts. Yes, is this something that happened to me physically? Sure. But they're, they're not, not my thoughts. They're, they're thoughts, thoughts that are being brought up because my mind is trying to protect me. Hey, John, we got to, Anthony, we got to, we got to remember this because it's important. Your, your mind, mind doesn't realize important. why it's telling you to remember it. It's using See, an outdated okay. program, an old code of, 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 of survival, and, and it brings these memories back up. That's, That's why, why when he said sprinkle, sprinkle acceptance, I said, I said I'm going to go one more. more. I'm going to pour it on yeah. like a hot flake. And to be honest, I think they're just using it. Now they are. Yes. Unfortunately, Actually, you know, yes. I, don't, I don't know, you. a number 20 years ago, <laughs> ACT wasn't as, as uh, like acceptance. Far East? East? Yeah. yeah, sure. Like, yeah, they yeah, understood this. Yeah. Yeah. They, they, got they understood that you're not going to be able to just tell yourself, I don't want to think about this anymore. Yeah. So they, 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 over here, we always have the mentality. Yeah. Well, just talk yeah. about it. Tell me about it. Let's see. Okay. Yeah. So, so how do you know it's gotten better? It's not about the nightmares getting better. It's about accepting that they're there. And a byproduct, byproduct of accepting that they're yeah. there is usually they do get better on their own. Yeah. But you don't need them. them to get better. You don't need yeah. that thought to go away in order to live a valued life. Yes, yes. is it easy to do? Yes, yes or no. no. It's easy to do, but the results don't happen overnight. It's, it's, it takes a determ uh, determination, a consistency of accepting, 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 accepting. And then all of a sudden, you, you start to automatically accept when it comes. You watch it. Maybe your body gets a little bit of a reaction to it. You watch that also. And then you kind of re-engage in what you deem is valuable. Because the more you go down that, that rabbit hole with it, yeah. like in talk therapy. And again, I have nothing against talk therapy. It has its place, but it, its place is becoming smaller and smaller nowadays. I think everybody has to start with, even you started with talk therapy. Technically, I thought that think, was wrong. Yeah, wrong. But, but it's got to, even when you spoke to, you know, Dr. Tatiana. Well, you they saw one of with her. Her. Yeah, but, but you talk, you talk, but talk therapy is different than talking. Talk therapy is, so tell me about your parents. My parents have nothing to do with my OCD. The first Not therapist, therapist right? nicest guy in the world. Mm. Right? Tell me about your parents, my father, my mother. Oh, they left to go they right had me screaming parents, into a yeah. pillow at one point. And I'm like, you know. The source again, of all your problems. Nice, <laughs> nice, but not very, again, very nice guy. He genuinely wanted to help me. But all he was doing, he was, we were actually feeding my fire and fueling it. What I'm realizing, so talk therapy has its place for sure. But nowadays, you're starting to realize that acceptance I mean, like, mindfulness, mindfulness or awareness. Did you know you go into what was wrong? Like what you, I brought up him. I said, I think I have a little bit of obsessive compulsive because disorder. Maybe, he goes, yeah. I'm going to medication for that. And he dropped it there. Oh, really? That's when I started doing even more research. Uh, thankfully, yeah. a, a Google trend brought me to Dr. Stephen Philipson, who coined Puro, and there I found the practice. It opened up like a whole world of stuff I didn't know, I didn't know existed. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah. oh, my God. Yeah, yeah, hi, this is me. That they make me feel better for five minutes because then my thoughts will come back, and I still wanted them to go away. So I was stuck in a rabbit hole until I learned. Not about That's making them go away. It's about running doors. Like, sit on my lap. Yeah, I'm it's... like, well, you want me to tell these scary doors to sit on my lap? You want to open the door and tell them, come on in. And we're going to do it. I got one better. It's the only way to deal with it. We're going to bring them up. Yeah, it's the only we're way to deal with it. During the day, I'm going to make you bring them up and spook yourself almost. Yeah. And you're going to sit there and don't wish it away. Yeah. Allow, but then I want you to refocus on whatever you want to do. So PTSD, again, yeah, I... I'm not saying PTSD and OCD are the same thing. I'm saying they yeah, triggering events. Sure. Sure. No, one's, one's a real event. Mm -hmm. I get it. One's a fictional sure. event. But the mind at, at what point can decipher what is reality and what's not. It's like if I put those AI goggles on you, mm -hmm. and I, you're walking to the edge of the building, you're only going to be sitting like this. My knees are shaking. You're sitting in a fucking room. Oh, I know. My daughter has it. I dare you to believe you're not standing like, you know, in that room. And by the way, you know you're standing in the room. 100%. Yeah. In your mind, yep. you know, I know I'm standing in the room. But why is, why is my body still reacting like that? Because what your mind is visualizing and seeing, it's, your mind is processing going, dude, 
I'm, I'm seeing still, I'm seeing 20 stories yeah. down. I don't care. You're telling well, why aren't you doing something? Shouldn't you be reacting, sweating, you know? Well, yeah. this, this is, is where, where yeah. on a higher level, your higher awareness, your higher intelligence goes, I know I'm standing on a... That's a great way. example of how separating yourself from your thoughts. Is, which that is, is it. Because every body of body is going... Oh, you're in danger, bro. You're in danger. Which, and in reality, your mind knows you're not in danger. You're not, look, you're not in that crazy? situation. You're PTSD. You're not in that situation at that moment. I agree. Yeah, you're right. I mean, you're, thought, thought, you're not in that. You're, it's it's not a happening. But it causes a reaction in your body. And if you all have awareness, you might. Understood. So, so, so if, if I want those bottles now, now, and I haven't actually done, done it. I did it in PA once where you like, it's just this game. It's a huge freaking room. Like twice the size of my basement. All open oh, and you're just walking around like around holding this fake this gun. gun. You got yeah. goggles yeah. on and they have these like, 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 on the side. You don't know. And you're walking and you're around, walking and you around, gotta go into an elevator, and you gotta go. The whole time I'm doing I'm it, doing I'm feeling it. like, oh my god. And I'm walking. Oh my god, oh my god. And it, it was fun. It was fun. At the same time, I'm sitting in the back of my head. At one point where one I was point at the, the building, I'm like, and, and I have to and jump have to over jump something. Over and I had that. And I had that. Are you fucking yeah. crazy? And I'm going to yeah, die. Gonna and then I, like this, again, this higher awareness, this higher intelligence. I know I'm it's going. I know what's oh, actually gosh. happening in the background. I say I'm on. And also, I also my, oh, my, kind of anchor to the ground. To the ground. I brought my, like, I brought my, 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 focus to my feet and my feet and to the ground. And I'm like, I know where I am. And I took that to the I wonder if they do that with people with phobias. How great of a training would that be? And you want me to tell you, you're a safe place. VR, VR, So imagine like you're scared of spiders. And I can tell you, you are safe here. And I, but I want you to be I want to get I wanted to get, I want to get used to feeling yeah, yeah. and you put one spider on the table, then the person's gotta realize that spider is not real in their brain. They have to separate their entire body wanting to run from wait, my brain is uh, uh, wait, I know that's not real. I just know it's there's, not real. There's the old code, fight or flight. And that's the old code. Yeah. And once you once you live through that, that's it. Yeah, it's, it's that, that skill that we say once you know it. You really have, have to, to try to suppress it. Yeah, because you're, you're doing, doing it all the time. time. <laughs> yeah. And the, the more you practice it, the more you encode it as to your natural way of being. Again, yeah. life will throw you curveballs. You will get cut off. And it's, it's, it's not 100%. Right. It's you not will like, get cut know. off in traffic, almost hit the divide and go, what the fuck? And then go, okay. I realized. And the, the more, more you practice, practice, probably you won't get to the what the fuck. You probably yeah. will slow it down a little bit. Yeah. I, I feel like I, I, I feel myself you get angry it. at something. No, no, you won't say it. That's what I meant. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, like, but you hear it. Probably. Oh, yeah. Loud and clear. That's on stop. Like a few days ago with you, we got into a political. I told I, him about I, it. He I missed heard. It. I missed it. I, but it was change. a good political talk. I heard, like, very neutral, just talking about history and stuff. The beauty of this talk is that as I'm talking, I'm enjoying watching myself get into the conversation, but it's different. I'm not attached. Uh, you, you see what I I enjoy it. It's almost like WWE, where I'm, I want to see Rick Ram, uh, raise, ravishing Rick Rude jump off the top turn, right? Whatever it is. And I'm, I'm in there. there. I'm it's in the fight. fight. No, no, wait, no, wait a minute. No, no, wait. But I know what I'm doing. Like, at no point am I going to run away and be like, this is fucking, you're ridiculous. No. I granted, it, you know, we were talking about stuff that didn't require heated. Exactly. Yeah. You, yeah. Stayed, you, you stayed away from all the oh, probably hot topics. topics. The hot topics, topics were pointless. We, we realized at that moment. We were talking more yeah, about it. Probably it's all were in agreement. Why even bring it up? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right? If you're all sitting together having a good talk over a beer, you probably agree about a lot of things in life. It was an interesting conversation because two of us out of the four do the show. <laughs> we're, we're mindful practitioners. The other two, not so much, but they have, uh, uh they have they, 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 they personalities, especially with, yeah, with Sensei Bobby. Yeah. Oh, what's his name? The other Bobby. Oh, uh, Ryan. Ryan did too. You know where he's speaking. You can tell when somebody's somebody speaking, speaking and they're choosing their words when they speak instead of instead of just letting their brain fall out from their brain. Yeah, it wasn't that. It wasn't all the I saw the guy who was. It was, Process. yeah, so there, there was, was no back, back in 1835, and this was that happened. And you know what the actual law is, is and you know, you know this, this was, was this, this so everything was, and, and we, we got totally off topic now, but it was a nice conversation, yeah. yeah. But, but it was, was thanks, thanks to this, thanks to this 
stuff that we do here, mindfulness, awareness, be able to have that. But yeah, back to what you were saying before with the PTSD. Yeah, yeah I mean, mean so that, that example, example I gave of the visual, visual reality, like, again, I'm not a therapist, right? I'm not, 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 I have no training in it, but I'm very well versed in acceptance. I said, therapy, therapy, spirituality, mindfulness, awareness, watch my mind, and all that stuff. I would consider myself not an expert, but like, I am, I, I understand that, that world super well. So, Pat on. He's a learner. You learn it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was Star Wars. There you go. I thought for sure you get that. (laughs) But with PTSD and and that whole visual reality example that I that I gave, that's a great way to frame it. Realize you're not bringing that thought up; it's your mind that's bringing it up. And if your mind's bringing it up something that you don't agree with, why give it the attention? It It does does not deserve. Right, it, it, there's nothing. So if you, you had, had a, 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 a mission, a mission, or you had a thing that you went on, a, a call that you had to go on, where you had to do something, and something traumatic happened there, and your mind wants to keep playing that back right now, does that serve you any purpose like in your, your life, life now? now? No, of course not. It doesn't. Yeah, right? Not no. at all. So if it's, it's an a marine, marine or an air force pilot or a navy seal or a lot of what I learned over the twenty some years don't apply to my life right now. <laughs> They don't. They have. They don't have a. They're not useful when they come up. Those no, times. not at all. So it's not that man or that woman even nowadays, right? With PTSD, because they're even in the forces where they're they're dealing with stuff too. You know, well, here's this. Here's the stuff about the PTSD. Most of the people that it usually happens to are Type A military. What were we talking about before? Right, they don't have awareness. Right? Nope. Big Trump Trump guys, the program, NYPD. You got the flying, and you got EMS. You got citation. These all big the guys. They're yeah. programmed. I'm a big personality. So therefore, they don't talk about it, and that's the problem. The problem is those guys are even less likely to talk than the average guy. You find out that there's ways that they so can got, navigate through them. Yes, yeah, so now you got problems happening to people. Who are even less likely on this earth to talk. That's what makes PTSD such a big thing is that it's happening to people who are overly programmed that we don't we don't talk about that stuff. We don't we don't but you know what happens, I'm gonna tell you and and why it's so hard to leave that environment. Because amongst yourselves you kinda of do talk about it nonchalantly, or if something's bothering you, it'll come out in some way, shape, or form, and somebody else who's been there will be like, Hey, I understand and, and, and can help you out, you know. So it's uh, it's just uh, it's it's a much tougher situation for Type A personalities and people in that business. But we do have a support system, and then when you leave that and retire, it's gone, fucking gone, it vanishes overnight. Can you make a phone call here and there? Yeah, you can, but it's not the same as every day. I'm sitting around a table with John and Henry, and we're just waiting for an assignment or training, and then we come up, we have something to eat, and we just talk. And Henry goes, oh, something's going on at home, and I gotta I gotta fix something with the mortgage. I'm having problems, whatever it might be. You're talking about it. It's, th- it's, it's therapy, therapy in itself. Right. And then you got yeah, another guy like, like oh, 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 sit next to you goes, let me help you out with that. There's no need right. to do this or that. And he helps you all. Then all of a sudden, it's a type of job where, boom, military, retired. Police, retired. Fire, retired. That, that group of people that you had to talk to, they're gone. Right. You don't realize how much therapy that was every day, talking to like-minded people who understand yeah, it, where you're coming from. It was, but just the, the one thing about, well, about about talking about it constantly is it also highlights it. Highlights it. Remember, remember the, the more, more, the more you, you talk about something, the more your mind... You're right, but let's not get away from making people want to... No, no, yeah, no, they got to no, open no, up no, so no, you no, know no. what the problem no, is, no, right? How do you help talking, somebody... If you're talking to your buddies at work and yeah. about stuff's going on in your life, Keep doing that. One hundred and ten percent. You help somebody deal with the problem. One hundred and ten percent. One hundred and ten percent. So if you're a type A personality or that typical male, yeah. that typical egoic man, like like you were saying, that guy doesn't have the awareness to realize. So when it, what, imagine so, what so super how would be if you did. So what, so, what, <laughs> so what, yeah, it'd, it'd be like, like you know, like, a, like you would, you would melt, melt back, back into society in, much easier. You would, yeah, you would. Much easy. A, you hey, much easy because those guys, those, are, guys are, those guys identify with, and I'm not knocking those guys. I get them, and, and I'm yeah, glad to have them. But the, 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 where they trip they up trip is up. they identify with that. It yes, comes a part of your life. Army Ranger. And it's not like that. You're all wearing the same uniform every day. You look alike. 
you're there wearing is, the same stuff. You're not to become a tribe. If you, you know, yeah, so, yes. you, so yeah. you can be a tribe and not and not attach or identify with the tribe. Like, right. like we said, it's, it's all it's about, about what role do you what role that. do you want to play? You could play the role of a cop and be a great cop, but be able to put the cop down and go. And no longer you know, the cop. My mind's going to bitch and moan about it because it, it likes it. It wants to play with its and toy. toy. It likes, it likes to, do to do that. It wants to do that. that. Thank you, but I'm going to put it down. That's what they're doing now, though, and they are doing that kind of training. It's different than when I came on. My, when I came on, it was dedicate your life to this if you want to be good at it. And then as you become a boss, you're even more dedicated. And it just it doesn't stop. Your dedication becomes a big part of your life. A lot of the men's mental health, or mental health, I should say in general, because there's men and women in, in both of those areas, a lot, a lot of it, of it right, right now is, um, geez, I just lost my train of thought. Uh, it's happened to so the men and women in that area and mental health. Uh, I forgot what my I forgot where I was going with that. I apologize. Yeah, well, 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 welcome, welcome, welcome to the club. Welcome, welcome to the club. How old are we now? <laughs> I, usually, I usually just stop talking when that happens. I'm yeah, like, well, yeah, and you know, I tried to tape it off and it just went blank on it. I was like, I was making a good point. I had something good too, John. Yeah, was, here's one I've been about five minutes. It usually pops yeah, up. Yeah, probably. So when that happens, let it go. Don't try to find it. It'll find you. Hold this one. So we've talked about what it is, but we haven't really given any good advice i'm just i'm pulling i'm pulling this up from before you've said it a few times in the past so men particularly like we said we opened up the show saying you know uh, men's mental, mental health. health awareness mm -hmm. when when you feel that intrusive thought come in try this little trick right. and you taught me this i've been doing this a little bit recently when the thought comes, comes in, in thank you thank, thank your you. mind thank you Thank you for for uh, for giving me that that little nudge. I appreciate it. Thank you. And you don't do anything else for it. You say thank you, and, and your mind's gonna be like, "What the fuck's going on here? <laughs> what do you mean, <laughs> thank you? Thank you." So, so, so my flavor. It's the exact opposite, opposite of what you've been trying to do all the time. Right. You're telling somebody to do the opposite. Yeah. I, my, my flavor is anxiety, right? And especially, uh, it's I have a very apocalyptic. Uh, an anxious, anxious type of yeah, so do I. right yeah. situation. Everything is the end uh, uh, in my uh, mind for some reason. What do you call so, it? prepper, your prepper, uh, like a survivalist. Uh, like, no, he, he is. It was an air balloon, and he was going to tell Sammy to move to Italy. Oh, wait, no, no, but like every, no way over there. Every, no, <laughs> every, 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 I know. Uh, everything, everything is apocalyptic. You know, everything. Yeah, is like, end. It, it was the, the extreme. Yeah, yeah. everything it's is extreme. extreme. So when these thoughts, thoughts have been recently, because. They don't go away. They just linger. When they feel like, ah, I found the loophole. Let me get in. And then you're like, thank you. I got you. I got you. You take the power away from what it was trying to do to you. Mm -hmm. you know, and, and I'm being stupid with my wording, meaning it wasn't trying to do anything to you. It was, you know, your, your reaction to the thought is usually, oh, here comes the stress. Here comes the... The, the, uh, in the, the box, box, I can't get out. The PTSD, the memories, the this, the feeling, ugh, the heart. Yeah. So thought comes in. Thank you. And give your attention to where you want it to go. Yeah. But that little act of saying thank you, I would I'm say saying, practice I, that for the moment. If you're not, you know, if you're not into what we do, and this, maybe you're new. Maybe this is like the second or first episode you mm -hmm. watched. What the hell are you mm -hmm. talking about? Give that a shot. Even you. Give it, it a shot. shot. If you ever have this, this feeling where man, an old thought, a good one, a trigger one, one that, that would take you down a rabbit hole, thank it. Acknowledge it and thank it. Be like, oh, thank you. You it's disarm so, your thought. Yeah, I, I couldn't. I couldn't agree. You disarm. It's like you, yeah. you take the block yeah. out of his hand, open that, that shit up, up. Bullets go here. Hey, like, and three pieces. Like, what? What do we do now? Like, thank you. But I mean, you know, the funny thing is to to get a meat roll for that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no <laughs> fake thank yous yet. You know, Mike Tyson I mean, said, mean, you know, if you, if, if you want to love life, you want to enjoy life, you have to embrace all of life, right? So I just I've recently started to appreciate. Some of the bad things that have happened to me. And you want to know why? Because when you break it down and think about it, the pain in your life is where yeah. most of your lessons have been learned. That's, That's very good, Anthony. All your lessons I, I didn't want to use something so definitive as all, but yeah. most yeah. likely yeah. all of them yeah. are learned in pain. So you could look at this pain as a transition and learn from it and move on, or you can completely 
freeze and not do anything, I, I you know? Here. It's not all about happy, happy. skipping yeah. rainbows. <laughs> it's not we, life. I think, you know what I think, it's not like, right? So I remember when you were like in the crux, you were in the crux. Looking back now, I would say, I'm, I'm putting words in your mouth because I'm trying to make a point. You're thankful for that event. You're thankful for that. Of course. Moment. Would I've he be it. right here, right now, doing what he's doing without that? Would he have helped you, been able to help you and give you advice, give me advice? Would he have been able to do any of that if he didn't go through right. one of the most traumatic experiences of no, his life? None of this no. would have happened. The book, the podcast, none of it would have happened. This, this one person, right? This one person figuring out his situation oh, me. <laughs> has helped oh, other people. Who oh. knows how many, right? Yeah. So, so even, even if you, you say, say, well, number, number yeah. for 10. Ten people, or well, eleven if you include himself. Ten people, eleven people, are in a better situation today that not they can understand things better today because yeah. he went through that one mm -hmm. bad, not, not one, one because it's it's a continuous. Well, look how many saying, people that you see. It's exponential because then you go on to help people. You go on to help people, and I help my I help my, my buddy. buddy. And, and so what you don't realize is if John doesn't, and I know we're using him as the top of the pyramid, but if John doesn't have that traumatic event, then these other things don't start to break down and don't happen. And maybe I don't help my buddy, and maybe you don't help some people you know, and they go down a rabbit hole themselves. So it's, it's like the butterfly effect, you know, and everything is affected. I've had this in me forever. Because... When you when you came to me for help, I wow. wanted to help you. I just didn't know what that thing was. You yeah, actually you found that golden nugget. You say, I got it. And, and then you came back and you shared it. You go, this yeah. is the golden nugget. Look what's going to work for me, bro. This is Henry, this, I think this is going to work for you, too. And then he passed that golden nugget on and vice versa. So when, you know, some people say John's eccentric about this topic, I said, imagine finding something that pretty much in your mind saved your life. And you want to find, you want to pass that on to fucking people. Like it's like finding a, a buried treasure. You got the map. Well, you wouldn't want to give that to the people that you know and love, and people you want to help, or even people you don't know and love. You know, anyone. And, and, I, and you know what? I hope you have friends. That oh, that's were, wrong. <laughs> I hope you have friends. <laughs> that, oh, that were, I hope you have friends that were in your line of work that now are drawn to watch you do this. Maybe at a novelty at first. Yeah. Like, right. is on the... Yeah. Oh, I, oh, I bet, bet that I'll, I'll guarantee you, coming from the environment I, I come from, it's, it's looked upon as, as, you know, as a weakness. There's no question. No, no, no. Maybe no, not, not these days as much. I, I, hope years that, ago, I hope that they tune in, they watch. In other words, come for the, uh, come for the appetizer, but stay for the... <laughs> but I hope that at this level, that they can take away something that they can put into practice and it would help them because it's, it's not, not just, just about, about like you said the thing that saved his life which i think we can say yes it did but it's, it's going to do one step better, better. it's going it's to actually, actually whatever days you have in front of you is going to accentuate that in such a way that you're not even going to live as good as no 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 it's exponentially better from here forward yeah I can't even explain that in proper it words. I, 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 I can tell you that it's, it's helped my life. It, it honestly has. The problem with um, the PTSD community or that type A alpha community is that the step one is recognizing you have a problem. While they're working, they won't recognize. It's very difficult to recognize you have a problem. You're in the midst of what you're doing. That call, you know, you can compartmentalize. All those things, it's, it's afterwards. You're in the center of the sun. Afterwards. Just, I, I can't tell you. And, you know, I, I know a lot of people in the industry. can't tell you how many guys that have problems or have had problems that I've spoken to that, uh, you know, that they don't want to just bring it out there. And I get that. Listen, everybody has problems, but come and talk to somebody. Please, just give me a call. Call me. Let's go have a coffee by the water, man. Let's just catch up. And, and it'll come out. Just, you got to realize... I got to tell you, one of, one of the biggest days of my life was after I retired, realizing I had a problem. I had a problem. I was being angry with everyone, snapping at them. I couldn't, I couldn't, I just, I was lost in life. And I know I'm not the only one it's happened to because I know other guys, they told me the same thing. And uh, it's just, it's a, it's a very lost feeling, you know, after you retire. And I think it's a beautiful thing that you went through what you went through because you can actually help. 
that yeah. much more, like that yeah. much more people. So again, you got to realize you got a problem though. You honestly, honestly just like drugs, drug, you got to yeah. realize you're addicted right, right, before right, right. you're going to do anything. Self awareness. That's, that's what, what, and yeah, yeah, he's right. That's, that's self awareness. You have to say, you know, and it's hard, man. You know, it's hard. And in my community, it's even more hard. Yeah, to turn this, go, this is where it's I got to um, go, go get help wherever that help might be. But this is where people have to stop saying. It's hard. It's hard. It's hard. It's hard. It's hard. Yeah. It's not hard after you get past it, but when you're in the middle of it, it's hard. Again, hard, easy, are opinions. Something could be hard to you. It could be easy to anything. I'm not talking about kids. It's self-aware, though. Yeah. But what I'm saying is, but when 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 we keep you, if we keep using the word hard, all we do is we reinforce that this is something difficult for them to do. Not, not that the pet through around or above well, that's what I is meant. is technically it's snap not your fingers easy. and it's done. No, but I've always said awareness and mindfulness. It, it go, oh, oh, is so this something easy? I go, it's it's difficult until you realize it's not difficult. So I'm not going to yeah. tell you it's difficult. I, I don't mean the I'm process. I'm going to tell you to keep practicing. I don't know. I, but I, I'm I trying to people coming, coming out, out men, 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 men's, men's mental health, health, health awareness month. Well. Coming out, out to another man and going, it's not home. I, I got a problem. Well, I can it's tell you it was for me. Yeah, yeah. You, you, and it took it took a, I wrestled with it. For you're, a while. You're, you're deeming that it's hard because your mind is telling you that it's hard. It is no. not. It's, it's just the act of taking the step. Now, your mind says something is difficult. If you believe it's difficult, if you are identified with it being difficult, guess what it's going to feel like? It's so going to feel difficult. If I had to pick up a phone, they would and call, have to know what you're talking about first. If I had to pick up a phone and call some, call a girl when I was 12 years old. How hard is it to pick up a phone and dial seven digits? Super hard. Super right. Super. Hold on. Practically, oh, how, hard hard practically how hard is it to do? Hold on. Practically, how hard is it to do? Oh, nothing. Nothing. Yeah. But your mind. mind no, I'm not comparing. I'm sorry. I'm not going to compare. I'm not comparing the two. I'm not comparing them. I'm trying to give you a reference. I'm not comparing the two. Your mind, because remember, the mind. The subject changes, changes, but the mind processes the same way. I got you. That's but how it works. We talk about so, uh, in your life as a grown man, though, no, it becomes even, it becomes an obstacle. It should be. I'm not saying it should be. I'm not saying it shouldn't be or it should be. I'm telling you, if you adhere to the rules where you say this is difficult for type A guys to do, type A guys are going to always think and believe that it's difficult to do. It's not difficult to do. It will take consistency. It will take practice. It will take fortitude. It will take... Uh, a, my book, a, a willingness, willingness to, to want, want to do it more than anything else. else. But if I, I keep saying something's hard, hard guess what? My mind is gonna fucking remind, remind me every day. day. Like when, when, I, when I had, I had my first exposure, exposure this, this is one, one of the biggest people, people and, and I, I keep, keep using those because the world I came from. People who don't, who don't, who don't, um, like get to a certain point, they kind of stop. They they stall. And I've had this conversation with therapists. Why? They go, there's no willingness to actually. Do the, the work, work or feel uncomfortable. uncomfortable. They, 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 they their mind says it's too hard. They, they believe it's too hard because they don't want to feel uncomfortable. My From my world. But there's, so no, there's no willingness. If, if, I, just if I keep saying this is a hard thing to do, thing to do and my mind keeps saying it's hard, and I believe that it's hard, what shot, what shot in hell do I have to actually take a step, which, step is, which is very easy, very easy to do? Pick, pick up somebody and talk to somebody. Pick up a phone and call a friend. Pick up a phone and call a therapist. Google, Google a, a podcast yeah, like this. Those are Google. technically easy things to do. And, they, and, and they, they're, they're, only, they're only hard if you believe the word, the word you're using. So my hard, question is, how do you break into that uh, those area of people to give them that kind of awareness so that so isn't a hard step, so it's an easy one. Right? That's a whole, 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 whole generational this thing. This is the difficult yeah. answer. This is difficult answer. You just say You're not going to like this answer. You're not going to like this answer. You can't reach everybody. We try. could try to reach everybody. My job, my job as, a, as a life coach, my spiritual. job as a spiritual teacher, my job as a mentor is not, is not to make you change. It's to show you how you can change. Okay. Ready? It's on, on you if you want, you want to. Yeah. Yeah. If there's somebody out there who's you know, suffering with PTSD, PTSD and, and, and somebody, somebody tries to, here's the playbook. Go. Let's go. Here's, here's the, the playbook. playbook. Yeah. And, and they, they don't, don't want to do it. it. But see, that thing is, you don't know that person has PTSD. It's, 
it's so, so it's, it's there's so many levels of different things that happen about coming out about it. Like, coming about out about OCD, I don't think is is the same as a guy. I, I know you talk, no, you're talking. I know what you mean the the foundation. I'm not going to say one is worse than the other because remember the example I gave before. Right, but in that your mind, mind, it even seems like again, even more difficult. It's an ego thing. You know? I get it. I get it. But yeah. you're, because you you you're you're putting yourself in a box. Right, right. But that's the community I'm talking about right now. Is so, so, so I, guess, I guess they put themselves yeah, in a the box. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what I'm trying to tell you is. They don't have to do that. I agree with you. Can I, can I make him make him not do that? Exactly. No, I can't. But w when we speak about it, you hope that somebody hears oh, yeah. it, hears it, and yeah. You, so I think that, that light, that, that little. And I like, think with when time, I told, oh, oh, the first time I heard first, something I heard in a session, I was like, wait, whoa. I think it's getting it easier. Well, here's here's, here's my here's my mind. assessment. Your level of difficulty has to do has to with do. your uh, your identification with it. You were identified. You were identified. You're right. You're right. Yeah. yeah. Just mm -hmm. like he was identified much. with OCD. Yes. Yes. So yes. both of you are well, talking from talk simply from just being identified, being identified with this. But the truth but is, the truth is, it's base reality. Base reality. We're all identified. We're all identified. We're all identified. So I got my I got shit. My and I'm hearing you and talking. Hearing you go, talk. Bro, you should see some of the episodes. Stop. It's because it's not a piss contest. Piece. There's exactly. there's a there's, there's, a, there's a, teenager a teenager that tried to take his life because you know his situation was worse than everybody. We all have. When you make, I'm trying to give you, you're right, but I'm trying to give you an insight of difficulty it is within that, that kind of environment, that community. I get it. But you're, you're still stuck on because it. If Henry comes to me and tells me something's, something's bothering him, him, maybe I think. Yeah, 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 he's right. He's right. You, you, no, 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 you, something that's funny. No, 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 I know, no, no, but you, I get it. You, you, we get yeah, what you're saying completely. hundred percent. You yeah. keep blazing up, but you keep. No, but one thing, thing you don't understand. I'm trying. I'm trying, I'm trying to give you an insight to a world that you're not. You, you're not aware of. And I know you're saying the foundation of what you're trying to do is the same. But if Henry comes to the boss, aware of the world, Henry comes to the boss and tells him that something's bothering him. Does the boss turn around and not put you on the stack anymore because of it? Because now. The, the, there comes the things that downgrade you in that world. Okay, like, and I ran a company for 25 years. I don't even know. Right? Can, I, can I just give you my perspective of it? I'm just absolutely. giving you my angle. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. No, go ahead, please. No, no, no. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go, go, go. I finished, I finished. Oh, okay. What, there's an, what Henry was trying to say, and I think this is, this is, it's not, again, there's no, there's, there's no, this isn't whose is worse than the others. Henry, what Henry, the point Henry's trying to make, and I, I tell me if I'm wrong, is it 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 doesn't it, it boils, boils down, down to that one thing. It doesn't matter if you were a cop, and we get it feels different. different. I don't use this for a second. Well, not just feels. What, what I'm trying to explain to you are there are circumstances that will affect your career. I agree. I agree. Like I agree. if you were a, a, if you're a real estate agent, you want to go to a therapist. Really, nobody knows about it. Nobody cares. You go help yourself. You go to a therapist as a cop or somebody who's relying that. upon to act immediately and, and put, put doubts in the people who work with you in their yeah, minds. So, so that's a, that creates okay, a well, different you're environment. You're talking about when you're active duty, right? Because yes. PTSD yes. happens when you retire a lot. I, I feel, feel like, like it does. Okay. Mm -hmm. So nobody, not to say it can't happen during, but yeah, a I feel cop. Like so, so take that, take that out of the equation. Because if you want to talk about PTSD, it has nothing to do when you're in active duty. Uh, yeah, community exists even after. I get, I get it. it. But even if it can exist, you're you're not, there's no ramifications from, from your boss. True. Okay. So take that out of it for a second. That's, okay. what we're, that's the point we're trying to make. You keep kind of anchoring and bet yourself back in that. I was just only giving my perspective of things because it's always different. And, and that's, that's why we have two mics because we love people. We love everybody's perspective. Oh, but this is good. What we try to show is. Be, be, be wary, wary when you box yourself okay. into something because, because that, that's because okay. the, the mother of all evils here of the, doesn't matter if it's OCD, anxiety, depression, PTSD. I don't I'm give a shit what, what the ailment is. Bipolar, mother, mother of all of, of all fuck ups. When people, people when people, people suffer the most, is they attach to what they believe their mind is saying. So, so I, I believe, believe that, that John, you don't get it. It was harder for me. John. I'm not saying it's no, hard. No, I'm not saying you're saying that. Like, like, yeah. oh, I'm not gonna saying that. Like, if everyone comes to me and goes, John, John you, you don't get, get it. it. You, you don't have, have to worry about, about this. Henry, I get it. I, that I might, might not be my it. situation, but my attachment to my situation feels as real as the attachment to your situation. It doesn't matter really if your situation is anxiety and, oh my God, oh, what's, what's going to happen? No, oh, work, work is pain in the ass. Okay. But my situation, my mind, mind yeah. intrusive thoughts, harm thoughts. Oh my God, what am I going to do? My situation. Oh my God, I remember that we had that job and 
Those thoughts keep coming right, back. It's, it's yeah. difficult to say. It's, 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 I can't proclaim to to you know to understand exactly how you got to to where you are. All I'm all I'm saying is is it's it's it can be. How do I put this? It's, it's very difficult. So it's, it's like, like you go to work every day, right? You were a contractor for 20-something years, yeah. and you worked with 20 other contractors, and you all wore the same thing every day, and you all went to the same jobs and figured out the same thing. No, meaning like a, a pack of like, like 10 to 20 people. Yeah. You become part of that, that, that tribe, and, and you're, you're 100% right. You're boxed in, and it's not a good thing. But unfortunately, that everybody lives in that box in those environments. It is a box world it does. it's no, no, no good don't, don't get me wrong it, it's, it's hard, hard for somebody, somebody to punch out a wall and go nobody, i don't want to be in his box no more no, you know? nobody, nobody doesn't exist you're you're i think you're you're missing this anything no, no I'm just okay we're yeah. not saying, we know the box no, exists. No, they, i'm telling you you're right, right. I, I agree with you but how do you get how do you open up that box a little bit and go hey guys it's much better out here you know they played the same way we do and that's what we're doing teaching you how to get out of the box exactly but you're asking how do you get out of the box but you keep put, but you keep we like those. I, mean, I, I say when I say those people, I'm gonna say like the the the. the no, I'm telling you because you don't understand exactly. I don't think with PTSD, you know, and I understand what you can't you know, say the same thing to you. I don't. Uh, you can't say that. I can't say that. So so my experience is different. I think. My experience is different. Your experience. Yeah, that's what I mean. I don't. I don't need to understand exactly exactly your experience is like. Experience, 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 experience is something that's happening to us, right? Right. You have that. You have that awareness. Whether it's in whether it's a real event, or 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 back my my, my, my uh, yeah. example. Yeah. Or or she said that. She said that. Mind, I mind, understand you. I totally cyber. understand you. Well, so, but how do we get people? How do we get, on, how do we get people to step one? Well, we right. Yeah. Seventy two. Right. I think you're on the advance. But how do we get people to the step one of? We've done this. Thousand times. It's no big deal. Go ask Henry for help. But it's no big deal. You know. No, no. We never say it's no big deal. It's a question. Perfect question. How do we get you get out of the box? Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Get the step one. First of all, a non-invasive, a non-invasive approach is. I'm not plugging you or anything, and you know, I don't, buy the book. Very nice. It's very nice. Yeah. You, get, yeah. you get to read the book. Watch I, these shows. Nobody knows. Nobody somewhere. knows you're watching. Nobody knows everything in the car and everything. But I'm gonna couple that thought, which it's an easy first step. You know, get the book, watch the show. It's like. Just a tip. He's right. Go, and before he's you right. know it, you're right. One or two. Go to my website. Show the information. You want to know? You want to know how John got out? Right here. You want to know how he did it? It's right here. Just but like, I, I, it's, not it's not even that. It's not even that. I got. I was in the wrong. I was always using the wrong vocabulary. I used to do this to him a lot, and I never did it to. It wasn't a correction to. Uh, 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 it was more of a. I know. I, I watch it. I'm gonna keep kind of I know what you mean. You don't mean it in a bad way. I get it. Oh, that way for a second. All of a sudden, you start to realize, and even your starts to change I'll the take, way you approach. I'll take over here, Master Shifu. Watch this. Yeah, you assholes. No, 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 no. Don't change your robe and your hood. Yeah, then we'll wrap it up. Because this is like, um, this is like the the evolution of a butterfly. Right, you, you are, are a full butterfly, butterfly spreading its wings. I just, just came out of the cocoon. You're in the cocoon. I can't agree more. And here's the deal: your, your cocoon, cocoon is cracking, right? And that's the stage where you want to. I, like the, the way, way I felt. I know he's gonna say. The way I felt was like this, Anthony. And I'm sure you feel like, like, bro, I'm, I'm feeling, feeling better about, about myself. myself. So. I'm, Dude, you, I, I know you're going to go there. Yeah, yeah, I'm mindful for sure. You become <laughs> like, I'm serious. So I, I did it. it. I went, you want to talk to your best friends that you know are suffering. And, and even those that, that you know are suffering, but they don't even give you the, uh, the yeah, inkling. You want to help? Sure. Because they're, they're, they're suffering in silence. silence. Especially those who want to go, yo, I know you're suffering in silence. And I know you won't say anything, but trust me, do this. Just do this, bro. Trust me. I believe who you are. So, right. Sometimes they'll re- sometimes they'll go, they'll put out their hand and go, please. So now, now let, let me help, help you spread that cocoon a little bit and understand yeah. that it, it's good. It, it makes you feel good to do that because you know you're help. You're gonna potentially reach somebody, and that's that's the name of the game. Is how do I reach you? Like I, if I don't reach you like this, I'll reach you like this, and maybe like this. But the ultimate, the ultimate endpoint is what he was saying. 
your experience, your particular experience in this field, right? Where, John, you just got to understand, like one thing, it's because you identify with your particular field and yeah. you're just not fully at his, let's thing. say, that, awareness. You're right, that is the problem. But a hundred percent, I get you. Because I've, I didn't tra I haven't traveled your shoes, obviously, Jesus Christ. But when I'm in the throes of things, you could compare me to a, 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 a fireman who has saved little babies from a burning building and came out and the last two, I saw them fucking burn, man. I saw them fucking burn. Okay. I got the, you know, if I tell you my shit, I got the same, oh, the, the same feeling of, oh my God, I watched them. Die. And it was oh, a different one. Thing, yeah. Right? Yeah, no, and yeah, the yeah, same yeah. thing that he was going through, right? With, the intrusive thought that just crippled him. So, so, so my, my main th it wasn't th about the foundation. foundation. I, I'm not arguing at all, John. It's, it's the, the breaking break out of that box seems a, a little bit more difficult when you're you're, you're, you're in, in that, that box, box and they tell you that's where you're supposed oh, to be. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's, yeah. That was my point. My point was the initial breakout is difficult because if you open up that little crack of the box a little bit, so everybody goes, "What are you, what are you doing?" So, so, right? so, so we'll, we'll, yeah. we'll go back and we'll end it. We'll go back to, back to the beginning of the episode. Yeah. If you label, if you believe the label that you're given, you have no fucking fighting chance. Remember what I was going to say. All right. So, I told you, think about just five minutes. Give me two seconds. seconds. Give me two seconds. <laughs> you know, it's, 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 it's it what makes it, um, <laughs> with this starting to teach uh, people in, in my phone field, uh, first responder field, is that it's, it's okay to reach out now. It's a much, it's it's a much different environment now. It's an evolving day. Today, today. Yeah. today. And, then, and you know what else they're starting to teach that they didn't teach when I was younger? Like everything was getting ensconced in the, get in that box. Yeah. In the box is where it's at, right? Yeah. And what they're teaching, you're trying to teach now is don't come in the box. The box is just a job. All it is. Be John Amelia, you know, be Henry, be Anthony. And don't, that don't identify the job is just a job, but they didn't teach when I was younger. It was if you weren't ensconced yeah, enough, you, that you weren't part of the team. You know what I mean? I mean, the truth is also this there's a lot of truth to this. So, we need, as you know, my thing is money, right? I have very that's one of I'm my afraid. triggers is the money thing where it's not enough and yeah. it's bad and it's going to be catastrophic. I'm going to be living in the street, right? Because society runs on money, our, our current situation is that usually coupled with that is the better you perform at your job, the more money you get. Right? Usually, usually that's, that's you know, right, yeah, a correlation. Yeah. So what, what happens in your field is well, the better I get at my field, the more money I can get. And especially in situations where there's overtime, because I heard, I've always heard, you know, with, with overtime, you know, that's, 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 that's the way, yeah, because the regular pay isn't enough. You need the overtime to get by. <laughs> yeah. sure. And so, and, so and, and I get it, yeah. but it's more. So, so you had the hours, hours and, and now, now here's another, another four. four. And then you, and then go, you go, go home, home and take a couple phone calls. Oh. You know how it is. And you're ensconced. Yeah. And, and so, so in your case, case, it was law enforcement. And in my it case, it was selling, selling stone, stone uh, real estate, estate whatever, whatever it is. is. And the more we do it, the, but while, while we're, we're doing it, it blindly, we're getting, getting in the box. Way in the, yeah. in the hole. We're siliconing the seams. <laughs> but if we would have, have been doing, doing it with awareness, awareness yeah. we, we would have had, had a bullet. bulletproof shield on us. And You're right. by the way, you would have had your share of perforations, but it wouldn't have been traumatic. But that's life. Yeah, life, like, all those perforations. Traumatic. If I could, if I could just, I'll say one thing, and then we really will end one it. Thing. Well, I'm gonna, because it, it really comes down to that. Do you, do you believe the role that you're playing, no matter what it is, is who you are? Exactly. If you do. Then, then you will feel, believe, experience everything that comes along with it. If you are aware, are mindful enough where you can watch the things that happen in your mind, whether it's through meditation or through just practicing mindfulness during the day, and you can say, I play this role. This is my role. 
I don't attach to the role, but I will enjoy the role and, and, and deal with its stresses that come normally. And then I will put that role down when it's no longer needed, whether for the day, for the hour, for the year, or for my life. Right? Same way I put down being a contractor. I put it down. I don't, I don't want to do it anymore. I wanted to try something else. I was going to be a life coach. I got my life coach license. I'm really not coaching anybody. It's a role that if I need to use it, I will use it. If it's a role that doesn't, isn't adhering to what my life's purpose is, I'm not going to use it. But they're all roles. I'm not a spiritual teacher. I'm not a life coach. I'm not a contractor. I'm, my name is John. I am a person. But all those things are things that I just experience on a daily basis. And I don't attach to any of them. And I know that might sound foo-foo. He's right. He's right. Like, like you, you go back to what mindfulness is really about. It's a letting go of the labels that are given to us and stuck to our heads. I don't, I don't give a fuck if you're a cop, a fireman, a contractor, yeah, Superman, Superman, Batman, Batman Aquaman. Aquaman. I don't care what you were. A taxi driver. If you, you say, say this is what I am, then, then the box, box you're going to close it. And, and it's always going to feel hard yeah. to get out of the box. Your job is not you. Yeah. yeah. Job is not you. Your job is a job. And unfortunately, I, I mean, I didn't know that well enough when I was going yeah. through it. It made, it made it more difficult later on in life to imagine being in that box and you can't see on the outside. And you think the box is the only thing there is. Yeah, yeah but that's everybody, right? Well, most, no, of us, most of us, most of us, when we're younger, no, if you, can't see, younger. you can't see how great it is on the outside of the box, you're not going to leave the box. <laughs> no, but, but, but when you're outside of the box, it's great. prepared. Hold on, be prepared. Your mind's gonna, your mind's gonna throw another slew of questions at you. Now, what do I do? Oh my God, I, this, I, that, the other. I think, and now we're really. I think we're playing around with a universal um, job. It's hard to explain. It's almost it's as if you can't. It's very, one of those things that you, has no. It's hard to explain because no, I'm talking about what we're doing. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. We're playing gotcha. around. We're tiptoeing around a universal thing. Mm -hmm. like, like I always said, said, I had this thing in me because you, I, 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 I point to you because you experienced it. But if I can help, I help. I'm very, I'm the same. I'm way. a connected I agree. person. I'm the same way. Most people who have been in the dark want to open the door yeah. for everyone else. It's just the way it is. I don't want to see people I know suffer like that. I just don't. So the universe has aligned in such a way where one of us <laughs> learns something, shares it, and then we're like, Let's let's magnify. Let's amplify. Sure. Right? right. I mean, here. So started with one, and we did two. And now we have three people here, and no, not no, that we're going to keep making this, thing, but like, like no, no, I'm running out of space. Yeah. But, yeah. yeah. So once I get to redo the set again, <laughs> it's, it's it's almost, almost like, like you're, you're supposed, supposed to be here talking about this right now, just to, to sort, sort of start, start something because, because there's going to be people you viewing you and like. Yo, Anthony, bro, you really went to some shit. Yeah, bro. Just like I'm sure you did. You know, don't even fucking lie. Yeah. And yeah. stop playing this bullshit with me because, you know, I know the job you do. Yeah. And, and I, I know, know the things that come with it. And I know that 99% of the people in the world are walking around blind. Re reach out to somebody. Yeah. And I think, that, I think for men's mental health month, right? Would you say the message is reach out? Reach out. Reach out. Start small. Just reach out. It's not that big of a deal. It really isn't. I'd, I'd like to tell you, I did it. He did it. He did it. You like to think there's a big social stigma to it? Reach out and talk to somebody. You know what the bigger one is? Hurt yourself and leaving your family. Stigma's in your head. The stigma is it's in your head. Only there if you believe it. Yeah. I don't. I don't. I don't believe in stigmas. I don't believe in labels. I don't believe in anything that society says it has to be a certain right. way. What's best? We'll end it on this. Ready? What's best for you and your life? And then the discussion. I don't care about what what the society says. I don't care about what the labels. Are. What's best for you and, and your that's life? That's that. This like case, like they said, said reach, reach out, out, find a resource, whatever it might be, whether it's a resource like us, us whether it's a resource like a friend that you might know, whether it's a resource like a therapist, whatever. It, talk to somebody, reach, reach out, out to somebody. If you're more curious, curious about this than things that we do well, here, give us a call. Yeah, yeah, listen, go, I'll tell you the first thing you can do is go to my website, jonathanmilio.com, and I'll tell you that why. The podcast is there, the book is there, everything that we do is there. You'll find a shitload of information there. Go there, and that's a great starting point. If you have any questions, reach out. I have a ton of resources personally. I know that that you know therapists and people who deal with stuff like this. So, but yeah. and then we'll leave it at that because I know that we. Let's All right, go guys. On. Have a good one.
It's ten hour wide. Yes, I got dinner. dinner. Yeah, me too. All right. Thank, Thank you guys. Have a great Thank week. Job, and we'll uh, talk to you guys next time. Great job. The insights and discussions that we speak about on our show are our own opinions and based on our life experiences. If you or someone in your family or someone you know is suffering and in need of help, please get them that help through medical attention or seeking proper therapy. Again, what we speak about are based on our experiences and not intended to be taken as a form of therapy. Thank you.